fresh garden vegetables, right? I know she does. So, let's get right to it. But you know, some folks out there just, they love to have a garden, but they never attempt it. For whatever reason, maybe it's time. Maybe it's that they think they don't have the space. Maybe it's too much to research or too much trouble or too much money. Well, what if I told you I know of a growing system that will answer all of those issues and it's not hard. And how about this? What if I told you that in this grow system, there's no weeding, there's no watering, and there's no bending over. Would you be interested? I know I sure was three years ago when I just stumbled across this method of growing. And a big kudos to Larry Hall from Brainerd, Minnesota because this was his brainchild. And it is truly fabulous. Just take a quick look at some of the produce that we have been able to grow using this system. video is going to cover the three main parts, the three main components of this grow system. The water reservoir, the containers, and the growing medium. First up, the water reservoir. You have two basic choices with the water reservoir. You can either use a gutter or it's a kiddie pool. You can make it as easy or as complicated as you'd like, and you can make it portable. This little example here is a gutter that is built with a, with a frame that you can easily move from location to location. For us here at Farmer Brown's Paradise, we prefer to put ours in a more permanent situation. So ours look like this. And as you can imagine, the kiddie pools can be located anywhere and moved around. You can also modify your kiddie pools with a simple fix or with a more permanent fix and a little bit more elaborate design like we've done for our blueberry bushes this year. Whether you use the gutters or the kiddie pools, the reservoir acts the same. An inch and a half of water is kept in the bottom. You use a simple float mechanism that keeps the water at an inch and a half. And to the float, you just have a constant source of water. It can be a garden hose, it can be a huge drum full of water, it could be a rain catch system. There are multiple ways to have water provided to the float. The second part of the system are the containers. Now generally speaking, you use certain containers for the gutters and certain containers for the, the pools. For the gutters, generally, most people use buckets. They use food grade buckets, and they can range in size. These that we have are five gallon buckets. Now you might say, how does putting a bucket on the top of a gutter going to draw the water up into it? Well, it's easy. You use what's called a net cup. 
here in this video I'm demonstrating how you place the net cup in the bottom of the bucket and the net cup acts as the wick to draw the water up into the plant. In the kiddie pools you use bags. You can go with the cheap Walmart blue bags that are out there that cost like 50 cents a piece. You can make your own bag or you can purchase a little bit more expensive bag called a root pouch for maybe two fifty three dollars you can get a seven gallon grow bag and it will last you anywhere from three to five years now with both of these systems because the water is maintained in the bottom at an inch and a half with the buckets using the net cups and the bags naturally wicking themselves the plants take up the amount of water they need and isn't that the best way to let the plants do the talking additionally the grow bags naturally have a feature to them that we call air pruning. And that simply means that air can filter into the bag and as the roots start to grow toward the edge, the air naturally prunes them, causing the roots to grow back the other direction. With the buckets, they're hard plastic, so you really have to create something that's air pruning. And so we drill holes in our buckets on the sides. And just to give you a little bit more illustration about air pruning, I know most of you have probably bought a plant of some kind in a little plastic container. When you take it out, have you ever noticed how the roots are swirling in this circle like the shape of the container? Those are very, very root bound. With air pruning containers, you don't get that. And take a look at these collards that I harvested. Look at the root system that's growing out of the net cup. It's just amazing. And the last component to this system is the good stuff the potting medium. It's really simple. All you do is follow the potting mix recipe. And if you follow it, you are going to have amazing results. And the mix is reusable. There's even a recipe for your second and third year seasons of growing of how you can still use the mix. Another thing about this system, besides its portability, is that you can really combat some really difficult gardening issues. I've already mentioned about the watering, but let's talk a little more about the water. How many of you live in an area that is very dry or have a drought, or live in areas like we do where we have gully washers? In fact, gray skies are here now. Well, with this system, it's compensated for those watering problems. In the kiddie pools, you have drain holes that you drill about two inches up that leaves the inch and a half of water there the plant still just takes up what it needs in the gutter it only holds about that much anyway so once it fills up and overflows though it'll evaporate some and again plants in the bucket reach for the water they only grab what they need another thing about weather you know most of us have noticed we've had some pretty crazy weather the last couple of years and i don't see it getting any better I know weather cycles are cyclical, but still, it would be nice to have season extension and a little bit more protection for our wonderful vegetables. With this kind of setup, it's super easy to extend your seasons with, say, building a, a cheap hoop house, or you could step up and build the next best system to a hoop house, which would be a caterpillar tunnel. Those are very popular now. Apparently, they're easy to set up and easy to take down. For us, we have in our future plans to build a heated greenhouse. We're in the design phase right now, uh, but as soon as we have that going, drawn, and figured out, that's going to be our next big project around here. So that's the basics, folks, of the growing system. For more detailed instructions, you can look in the description link. I have an article on my blog that really goes over the mix, the containers, how to fill them. It's fairly detailed. In addition to that, on our channel, we have an entire playlist devoted to this grow system. There are several videos in there that will show you all aspects of the system. I am going to include a couple, though, in the description box just to give you a taste and a flavor for what it's all about. Honestly, with this system of growing, the only limitation is your imagination. This is Mr. Farmer Brown. Say hi, Randy. Hi, Randy. 
Anyway, we would love to have you join us here at Farmer Brown's Paradise and watch all the crazy things that we do and the fun projects that we have. And remember, bye and have a good Because we're still filming.